Love is something that is difficult to describe, let alone categorize. But this challenge did not deter American psychologist Robert Sternberg. He managed to find a way to break down the different types of love we feel and how they manifest in his triangular theory of love. Liking, infatuated love, and empty love occur when a relationship is only one component of his theory. Liking with intimacy, infatuated love with passion, and empty love with commitment. Liking unites most platonic relations as there is an absence of passion and commitment. Infatuated love is intense attraction. Whether this manifests as love at first sight or locking lips in the hallways, passion is the sole motivator. Empty love is how arranged marriages begin, since they are eternally committed from the start. When you are more than one component, however, you yield a two-plus combo. Romantic love is the combination of passion and intimacy. The earlier stages of a relationship may frequent romantic love, as there has not been enough time to develop a sense of commitment. Fatuous love occurs when there is passion and commitment. Relationships may begin as infatuated love, later developing into fatuous love when commitment begins to develop. But where there's intimacy and commitment, there's companionate love. Most marriages and long-term partnerships consist of companionate love, and this can also include the love felt towards a family member or a long-term friend. Alas, as humans we want everything. We want the ultimate form of love. We want consummate love. It meshes together intimacy, passion, and commitment. Most people strive for this, but even if they are lucky enough to reach it, it may not last forever. Oftentimes passion dwindles in long-term relationships and becomes companionate love. But, as humans we are not all the same. Everlasting love manifests in many forms. Reproductive success isn't limited to companionate love. A study of the Hadza, a traditional hunter-gatherer tribe in Tanzania, unveiled a key distinction between what drives male and female partners towards this. Fatuous love is more common among women, and empty love among men. Above all, the researchers concluded that human love in its many forms is related to reproductive success. So, if you're looking to make some babies, you ought to find love first.